Hi, I'm Jeff Cogswell. In an earlier video, I demonstrated how to install threading building blocks on a Linux system using the apt-get package manager. Today I'm going to show you how to install it directly from the website uh, for threading building blocks because that way you can get the latest and greatest code. So head over to threadingbuildingblocks.org. Then go to download and stable releases. Now in my case, I'm going to be installing this on a remote server, not the computer I'm actually uh, running the browser from right now. So what I'm going to do is, instead of clicking the Linux link, I'm going to right click and do copy link address. And now I'm going to head over to my server here. Make some space here. And I already created a TBB directory. The server doesn't have a window manager or anything, just a command line. So I'm just going to use the wget command. And I'm going to paste that link in and hit enter. There, after it's done downloading, now we can decompress it. I'm going to use the tar command, uh, zxf, and tbb, the name of the file. And there we have it. I'm going to go into the tbb directory. And of course you can if you want. You can delete the tar file, since we don't really need that. Now what we ended up with is the include files, the header files, and the library files, as well as some examples and documentation. This is not the, the source code. We do not need to compile it. But to use it, we need to set up our environment variables. It has two different uh, shell scripts here. The only thing is they don't have the actual uh, directory in there. We have to add that ourselves. So let's go up one here. Let's do a pwd to get our directory for us. And I'm going to grab that, copy, and go back in here. And I'm going to open up the one I'll be using, the .sh one. And I'm going to go down into the file right here. It says substitute installer here. Let's delete that and paste in our directory there. And it turns out we don't need a trailing slash. We're going to write that. And now we're going to source it. Type a dot and then a space dot slash the name of the file. And it'll tell us that we need to do uh, either Intel 64 or one of the others. We're doing Intel 64. And there we have it. Now let's go create a test directory and test it out. Now I've got some code. You can't see it on the screen here. I'm going to copy just to keep the video short. Let's make a new um, test.cpp file and then paste. And there it is. Uh, this is just a parallel for loop that uses threading building box. Now let's write and quit and try compiling it. We type G++ and we have to tell that we're using, in this case, uh, C++11 because I've got some lambda functions in this one. And then the name of the file and we're including tbb and it compiled. And that's all there is to it. Uh, there are other methods you can actually build it from source, and we can look at that in a future video. But this is a pretty easy way to get threading building blocks installed on your, on your remote Linux machine.